Hey guys, what's up? Cyberace TV, and in this video, I'm going to be updating over the air to iOS 5 Beta 4. So, uh, once you're on iOS 5 Beta 3, what you do is you go to Settings, and then you go to General. My apologies for the video quality using a flip. Don't have my regular equipment, uh, but you could probably make out the symbol there. General. And right here, it says Software Update. So you go right here, Software Update, and checking for updates is what it says. And there you go. It says iOS 5 Beta 4, 130 megabytes. It says this beta of iOS 5 contains bug fixes and improvements and is the first version available for the over the air update. For more information, visit developer.apple.com slash iOS 5 slash re-release notes. And it says this beta of the iOS should only be deployed on devices dedicated for iOS 5 beta software development and I am registered uh, with a developer, my DID is registered. Uh, so this is kind of what the page looks like there, the update page, sorry if you can't really read it that well, like I said, the uh, quality is not the best, but uh, you can certainly see, so it says right here download and install, which is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to click it right here, and it says, important note, this is an Apple Confidential uh, pre-release seed, so I'm not really going to read all these terms to you, because, uh, of course, it's a non-disclosure agreement, I guess. Now it is starting to install. You can see a progress bar right there. Estimating time remaining, three minutes. Uh, that's pretty good, because I have uh, 40 down right now, or two minutes now, so... Uh, I'll get back to you guys when it installs. Okay guys, so finally I got the OS downloaded. Let me tell you, this was nothing close to smooth. Hey, I can honestly say that this download took longer uh, for me to download this 130 megabyte file than it did to download iOS 5 Beta 3 earlier today, which was almost 700 megabytes. Uh, almost 700 megabytes, it's almost six times this, yet it downloaded it much faster than this actually did. Uh, but nonetheless, it eventually got downloaded, and I'm going to click install now. Once again, I have to click an agreement so that it will download. And verifying update. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Hopefully this doesn't take too long because I don't feel like editing this out. And there we go. Now I guess the device is restarting and we will see the update. Okay, so uh, the software is finally installed and now it is rebooting my device. Uh, the, the install was pretty smooth until the end there where it kind of froze up and took a few minutes and now uh, just restart it. So uh, if you didn't see, there was a little progress bar and it filled up, then it kind of got stuck, and then it went, and here we are at the load up screen. And let's see how the uh, device boots. So, here we have the screen up here again. I guess, suppose it's a load up screen, and hopefully it won't take too long. Okay, so that screen went rather fast right there, and hopefully it will load up. And there we go, guys. Load it right up, nice and smooth, and there's all of my apps and such right there. Uh, so, that was a lot easier than doing an iTunes update, having to get the new iTunes beta, and having to get the new iTunes software. A simple over-the-air update, and you didn't even have to um, restore your iPod. All your stuff is still there. Uh, so, in my opinion, if Apple could work on this, it was really cool. Uh, it's a lot cooler, uh, but it's not smoother. So, if Apple were to work on how smooth this were, then I could see this being very, very useful. Uh, once again, I'd like to apologize for the quality. No, it's not the best, and sorry, but I did not have a tripod handy, so it was a little shaky. Uh, I'm Cyberace TV. This was iOS Beta 5, Beta 4, actually. It's iOS 5, Beta 4, updating over the air. See you guys in the next video.